the same and then it's nice and neat up here so it's really helpful plus and then dot 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 and then we're gonna go plus x sub n boom and so there we have it and that whole thing over an n and so there we have it so now you've got x1 x2 x3 to x n over n is x bar so then we just insert and it does it for you and then of course you can you can copy and paste this we can do our adding making it larger and oftentimes it's useful to put a color around it so you can just put a color in it just like anything else this one's one note has a little bit different kind of kind of color scheme uh than some usually you could just in color the box but you know i can make it red <laughs> you could and you could copy it too you can copy it and paste it as a picture which sometimes is useful because that kind of makes it hard coded you know let's do the other one just to do this one to practice this one if i and then i'll show you how to make these letters so if i go to the insert again and i'm saying let's do another equation and then i'll do i'll do an ink equation of that one ink it out and so we're going to say this is going to be x uh it didn't do anything. x i'll make it really large because this is gonna i don't want it to think that this is on the top of the bottom of the other equation so i'm going to make that big because then i've got this whole thing on this side equals and then this sign so i'll put that right here boom and then I'm going to put the N on top. It'll kind of mush it to the side over here. But I'm going to start on top. I'm going to say the N is on top. Now, sometimes it doesn't pick that up until I do the rest of it. And then the I equals 1 on the bottom. And then I'm going to put then X sub I over here. And so now it picked up that N on top, put the X sub I, so it looks good. Now I'm gonna put the whole thing over N. And so there we have it. And so I think that's what we wanted it to do. So I think that looks good. I'm gonna say insert and boom, there it is again. It put it inside of this one, which is not what I wanted it to do, but we'll keep it there for now that's the idea I shouldn't have put it inside here I'm frustrated with myself what was I thinking what was I thinking oh, it still works okay so then when you add these things uh, this one's a little bit tricky because you have to put like an X and then and then add the bar so it's like a combo thing so you've got to go to the insert item uh, up top and then we go to let's see insert we're going to go to then the symbols and here's like the, the most common symbols but I'm going to go into the symbols here and say I want more symbols and then I usually have no normal text so it doesn't do any wacky thing nothing weird on the text and then I'm going to go over here and say we want to be combining uh, the, the data marks uh diacritical marks i don't know i can't say that but anyways we want this thing over the top here so that's the one so it's the combining overline and i'm going to say okay boom and so there we have it so now you've got the x bar all right so then so that one's could be useful a lot of these are going to be greek letters so so sigma uh, I think one way you can do the sigma is you can actually type an S because it's a Greek S apparently. I'm not a Greek specialist here, but and then you can put in a symbol up top uh, or you can type in up top here symbol to change the font and it makes it a it makes it a sigma. So that's one way you can do it. That, so that's probably the easiest way. But the thing that probably comes to mind first is to enter the symbol, insert symbol, more symbols, and now you want the, the Greek stuff over here, Greek and Coptic. 
so we're gonna say that this is gonna be I already have it down here but let's see if I can find it for us up top don't day uh, it's all right I finally found it it's like finding what it's like finding Waldo over here or whatever the guy with the hat and the funny striped so here it is boom so there we have that one and so you can do that a couple different ways and let's make that a little larger and then sometimes you might want to have the squared so I can do the same thing so I'm gonna say insert symbol and now it's in my favorites so I can do a Sigma insert that and then to make it squared one way you can do that is you can put a 2 next to it see now it changed hold on a sec uh, so then I what I did right there is I said undo so it tried to predict what I wanted it to do and I didn't want it to do that so I hit undo and so now it's just a Sigma and a 2 I'm gonna select that 2 now right click on it and so it's not in the right click you go up once you can go up to the top uh, in the home tab and then I want to make it a superscript so here's the one uh, the, the superscript boom so that puts it up top there now if you're in Excel you can right click and format this the not the cell but just like that one thing and if you right click on it and format it then you'll find that superscript as like a check box so that's how you can get that one. We'll see that symbol in future presentations. And then a mu uh, is actually an, a Greek M apparently. So I could choose a Greek M and I could choose, make this the font a symbol and not, that's not right, symbol. And then it's not doing it, symbol. There it is and it changes it to a mu so I could do that or of course I can find it in my Greek letters up top so I can go up into the insert symbol and more symbols and now I'm in uh, the normal text Greek and Coptic and now I'm looking so I already have the mu down here but again let's see if we can find it uh, up top for us another where's Waldo search because I can't I don't know my Greek alphabet I apologize but I there it is of course it's right there next to the to that the thingy right there all right so let's insert that one I knew that I know what I'm talking about with the Greek alphabet let's make it large and so so there we have that now so those are just you know some of the symbols that we'll be using when we'll when we take a look at some of our equations and it's quite nice to be able to type out say an equation in this type of format in Excel or something like that and then take that equation and break it out uh, possibly in Excel like like either with a function uh, to do it quite easily in Excel or you can put it in like a, a table type of format which is quite nice or again you might you might it might be still valuable to break it out you know algebraically which possibly you could do in Excel but that would be easier possibly to do still on uh, a by hand type of process